Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog, A Quiet Life. And yes, another mess. We have been working on this wall since the end of March, maybe the first weekend in April, when we tore this wall down. And then gradually we've been taking down this closet wall. It was a closet at one time. And I've been up in the attic. <laughs> the light's off up there. I've been up in the attic cleaning out insulation because Nick's going to move this vent thing and take the wall down. We were hoping to have it done before Thanksgiving. That was impossible. So now we're hoping to have it done before Christmas. <coughs> Sorry. This insulation's in my throat. Although I did wear a mask. Yeah, that's a lot of insulation. We blew that insulation in years and years and years ago, Nick and Allison and myself. We had a little bitty room closed off and put it up in the attic. I told Nick, I said, I'm throwing that away. We'll get some new clean insulation and throw that away. But I wanted to show you where we're at because this wall is coming down. Praise the Lord. I'm kind of getting tired of living in this mess. <laughs> it's only been going on for what? Six five, six months now, seven, look at that mess, whoo, what a job, it's coming along now, but I, I will show you what I did find, I found this bag, and it was tucked up about right there, and we've lived in this house for 30 years, <laughs> and I just found it, so these two bottles are empty, they're, they've been here for at least 30 years. I'd say they've been here a lot longer than that. This one is full. And by the looks of this, it has not been opened. Although it's wore off on this side. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's wore off on this side. It's not been opened. How interesting. We found a lot of different things in this house when, from where the Finches owned it. They did live in this house. Oh, goodness. I don't know how long they lived here. They built it in 1928. We bought the house in 1993. I think they might have moved out in 1988. Went to a nursing home. Well, maybe David rented it out and kept his mom with him. I don't know. Probably 60 years somebody, they lived in the house, I would say. I don't know when somebody stuck that whiskey up there. I'm thinking it's pretty old. I think David might have done it, unless Mr. Finch was a closet drinker. Could have been. Who knows? But now i got to clean this mess up. One more little step down. And then we'll be done. Well, taking the wall out. We've still got to move the register, fix the ceiling, fix the floor. And then some odds and ends things that I want to do. I'm excited about be one big old kitchen. Thanks for joining us. What do you think, Nick? There's a lot of heat going out that hole right now. I know. <laughs> That's why I put it on 65. Don't, don't break my picture over there. <laughs> well, it's screwed to the wall. So. I know. That's the only way I could put it up. Well, and the ceiling come tumbling down the ceiling. Does that make you happy, Nick? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see how hard it is to put all that up. So. What makes you happy, Nick? Whoa! That could have been really painful. That's some good cedar wood. makes me so happy. I know there's a bunch of it up there. I figured that. You've even got to take this this board right here out, don't you? Otherwise we're going to have a bump in our ceiling. you got to take that board right there out, otherwise we're going to have a... That's the load bearing. 
Well, you already fixed that, though. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> Guess we'll find out by the morning, won't we? Listen. The wall's come tumbling down. I have 110% faith in you. That's a good thing. It is a good thing. And even if it does fall down, I figure you'd figure a way to fix it. <laughs> yep. Now that is a keeper right there. Watch the ceiling fan. Now what are you going to do with it? I want to keep you that for when we wall. build the bump out. You cannot do that. This is a two, true two by four. I, I know fit. that. I want to you to use it for the shelves in the bump out. I want a piece of history in the house. That's us. <laughs> We're 53 and 52. I mean, how much more history can you get? Someday, somebody else will own this house. Roman, he says he's living in the house. Uh, apparently, he's done his own claim. <coughs> to it. He's claimed it. It's mine. He just thinks it's cool right now because he's living He will always think it's cool. It's ingrained in him. All right, well, let's get a hammer and knock that thing out and see what happens. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, I want to measure the wall first to make sure it don't fall in the morning. Yeah. It's supported right now. But... You know, work just never ends on an old house. It's not the fact that it's work either. It's the fact that we change it a lot. Yeah. That's 84 and a quarter. I don't think there's a year that we've lived here that we've not redone something. Well, there was a few years. Maybe yeah. it's just painting it though. When we first bought the house, that's pretty much it. No, we started immediately changing stuff, yeah, remember? Like the kitchen. Even before we moved in, we, we painted the whole thing. Yeah, but that's not tearing walls out. No. Well, I mean, but within a couple of years, we did. After we had the chillings. Right. <sighs> I don't think it's going to be too difficult to remove. <laughs> Especially since some of it is... Uh, Termite. Mm. What? Nick, that can't be very sturdy to hold anything up. Just because they never go termite damage don't mean anything. Okay. Well, you're going to have to take all that off. Yeah, I don't want nothing broke. Roman said to me the other day, he said, Essie, can you get that note out I wrote in the ceiling? <laughs> oh, it's starting to come out all over. I literally just cleaned it up in here, didn't I? Huh? Ooh, keep going. I'll it. keep cleaning. Yeah. Well, if I hadn't, it would have been a bigger mess. again there you go it tore right at the termites didn't it remember that realtor I asked him I can't remember his name do you the realtor that we had was it Williams I don't know he was from North Carolina 
Was it Harold Williams? Well, y'all got termites in Kentucky, don't you? When I asked him about termites, I said, yeah, but we want to know if that house has termites. It's because he, he looked like, yeah, he, he looked like Brother Pelston, didn't he? <laughs> Roman would like that. Hey, you know what house <gasps> <Woo>! <laughs> Good thing we have old furniture. We wouldn't have it if it was expensive. <laughs> let you get to it. I think this is a good amount of videoing. Say like and subscribe. You're supposed to say that. The boys do. Oh, like and subscribe. <laughs> Give us a thumb up and hit the ring bell for the notification. <laughs> I didn't have the sound on. <laughs> Nick? It's just a typical Saturday morning around here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's cutting the hole out for I'll this thing out. to go back in. <laughs> you want to hide out in there? Well, so it's Saturday, December 3rd, right? And it's 8.45 a.m. 2022, just in case nobody knows that. The goal is to have this wall down today. We got a candle lit. construction in their own home so they've oh gosh look at that they've dealt with this their whole life literally their whole life crazy.
Is that the, that's a bunch of mess there, isn't it? Drywall, plaster, concrete, <laughs> and paneling. I don't know how much more stuff you could put in there, but I guess if there's a wheel, there's a way. Like Lamar. There's that and that and that. I done that yesterday. We're gonna land this truck. What he say? He's like, man, where you getting that sand from? I said, well, the neighbor lived next door to us. Lamar had had a stroke, and I said he couldn't say very many words, but I said me and him carry on conversations with that and that and that, and okay. Hey now. Hey now. Okay now. <laughs> yep. And I said, Starla used to say, how in the world? I said, you just knew what he was talking about. That was the kitchen color at one time. And that was the kitchen color at one time. <laughs> All right. Gosh, I don't even know what to think about all this. big wall. <laughs> wow. Oh, Nick, I don't like it. Put it back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Save that big piece. You know how difficult it is to pull something out like that? I mean, I'll cut it. I'm not saying in the middle. Down. I'm just saying you a little bit higher. You do need this piece of wood. Harold Cleary. I do need it. No, you don't. We do need it. No, you don't. If you want to salt through it, salt through the top. Ooh, it came down some. Oh, it's only holding that up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's only holding up part of it, so. Well, you said you was taking that down anyway. At least try to save these two beautiful pieces for Starla, me. Get over it. My <laughs> God. Please. No. Come on. It's more trouble than it's worth. Mm. All right, you need to get off the phone and fix some of this mess up. I'm taking a video of the well, complete. Good for you. Nick. Star. Your cleanup crew. <laughs> Wow, I don't even know. This is crazy. Ooh, be careful. I 
I hope there's no more bottles of whiskey underneath there. Wow. We done drinking the rest of it. Yeah. We're not going to drink it. You might have to. We haven't quite figured out what we're going to do right here yet. We might have to take those two pieces right there and sand them and fix them and stick them right here in the sides. But only if you cut them at the top. Right in front of the camera. All right, I'm going to close it for now. What do you say? What are you doing right now? I'm cleaning up a mess. Oh, so I got to get right here where all this is at so I can run another.